Today, a South Dakota citizen can walk down the street to their local county courthouse, and while there, they can register to vote, request an absentee ballot, receive a ballot, and cast their ballot all in one visit. A soldier serving in Afghanistan does not have that type of luxury. What we wanted to do was create that courthouse overseas. The IOASIS system takes that 60-day process into a five-minute transaction. This is probably the easiest process. Oh, think that's pretty easy? Absolutely. Easy as pie. It can't get any easier. I know, I told you it's really easy. But it's really, really cool. In previous elections, military ballots have been received after election day. We want to make sure that everyone will have their ballot received on time and counted. Once I did it by absentee ballot where they sent it to me, it just is lengthy, time consuming. That was the biggest thing with just trying to know when your ballot was received. Like, yeah. so you're just sitting there just hoping that it did count. And you never really knew for sure. No. <laughs> no matter where the military personnel is in the world, no matter what time zone they're in, they're going to be able to have real-time, instant access. Real-time is definitely the key, yeah. because you want to do this all in one sitting. The only thing remaining is printing and mailing the ballot. We went overseas to Germany to test it at four different military bases there. The response was wonderful. I have no complaints about it and actually enjoy it so far. There was a lot of big smiles on the excitement for how easy the system truly is. I heard what you're doing here. Awesome. I love it. I think it's Good. a great thing. The first step in the South Dakota IOASIS system is to go to the Secretary of State's website to gain the link to the IOASIS system. The only way you're able to log into the system is if you have a common access card. By utilizing the CAC, we're able to have that instant verification. The next step in the process is the voter registration form. The pink areas you need to fill in. If you're already registered to vote, your current voter registration information will be displayed. If this is the first time for registering to vote, you will be able to fill out that form. Next, you will continue to the absentee ballot application request. That information that you previously entered goes right into this new form. You do a quick verification, click submit, and instantly your next screen will be your ballot. You complete the ballot. If you decide you've made a mistake and you want to change someone you're voting for, you can go through and change that as well. So you can redo it several times. I saw something in the news about change a your mind that I didn't like. <laughs> the last and final step will be to print out your ballot, put it in an envelope, and mail it back to South Dakota. South Dakota is very proud to be the first state in the nation to use a system that takes a 60-day process down to five minutes to ensure that our military personnel serving overseas are able to have their ballots counted. The next step I see is working with the Department of State and embassies across the globe to ensure that anyone who is outside the United States is able to access their ballot. Hopefully the other states will pick up on this. Yes. Share this info with the rest of the states. Where other states use this, they have to honor South Dakota in some way. <laughs> <laughs>